Who is there? Who I am is not the question. I am Atris, Jedi Master, the last historian of the Jedi, the last of the Jedi. Those are titles, words you cling to as the darkness falls around you. You are that which has attacked the Jedi. You are Sith. Sith is a title, yes, but like you, the title is not who I am. It is not what I believe. For you, it is different. Know that there was once a Darth Traer, and that she cast aside that role, was exiled, and found a new purpose. But there must always be a Darth Traer, one that holds the knowledge of betrayal, who has been betrayed in their heart, and will betray in turn. You have bathed in the knowledge of the Sith, but there is not enough truth in such teachings. But it will be a step for you. How did it happen? Search your heart. It was never battle that called to you, never battle that caused you to fall. Alakor V has touched many things, and it casts its echoes still. Why did he betray me? You betrayed yourself. Do not blame the exile. And unlike you and I, there is still a chance that one may be saved, the one that you cast out. Where is the exile? I had thought... Oh, he will come, but it will be too late to save either of us. It is such a quiet thing to fall, but far more terrible is to admit it. Your mistress awaits. She has much to share with you. The last of the handmaidens is before us. It is good that you have returned. You have much to answer for. What are you saying? You have betrayed us. You have betrayed Atris. You are no longer one of us. You followed the Jedi, betrayed your oath. Listen to me. Atris has been touched by the Sith. It is not too late for... Silence. It is a crime to kill blood, but not to kill a betrayer as you. Then you shall fall. Where have you been? You have been absent so long, I feared for your safety. Were you with the exile all this time? Mistress, as you commanded, I... Commanded? Did I command you to consort with him? To follow his teachings? To betray your oath? Mistress, I do not understand. I... Of course you do not. But you will learn. Enough. Did you have feelings for him? Did you touch him? Did you look upon him with love? There is no love in that one. He is a shell, devoid of emotion. All that he was died at Malachor, and he dies there still, as he should. So, one exile has arrived to save another. It is no crime to kill the Sith, or any that threaten the Republic, as you proved in the Mandalorian Wars. This is now my battle, and you are now my enemy.
Such a noble offer. Your execution has been too long de- You said you would come here to this place. If you think you can defeat me here, you are wrong. All this collected knowledge, all these teachings of combat and the Force, they're mine to command. And if I must use it to end you, I will. Surrender. You need not die. Atris. That is not who I am, not any longer. She has not existed for some time, I think. There was always something else within me. It just took time for its voice to be heard. I fear nothing, least of all you. Let us end this. <laughs> this. I did not expect mercy from you, here at the end, after all that has happened between us. If you will not kill me, then what will you do? This knowledge of the Sith and the Jedi is what I am. It is my attempt to hold on to the past to try and protect the future. Once I was a historian, the chronicler of the Jedi, and when both wars passed me by, I was determined that I would not forsake battle again. In some part of me, I knew I had made choices, compromises, but always for the sake of the Republic, of the galaxy. To do what you had done, at times, did not seem so wrong. You're right. The Jedi were all that seemed left to me, and yet I had become so far removed from them that I betrayed them. You always knew where they were striking from. You always knew. These Sith are spawned of you. 
spawned by the Mandalorian Wars. All those deaths, all those Jedi, their power is to feed on life until nothing is left except a hollow galaxy echoing with the screams of the Jedi lost to us. Yes, I had thought she was awaiting me at that place, but I see now that she lied. It was not meant for me, but for you. She has gone there. She is waiting for you to travel to Malachor 5 to finish what you started. Yes, you are an echo in the Force, a hollow space where it has been wounded. It takes a great act of destruction to create such emptiness. But it can be done. It creates places where the Force is difficult to hear and difficult to find one's way. And you carry it with you, always. Now she seeks to create another echo, a wound in the Force, greater than the one before, greater than the one you caused. It will deafen all touched by the Force until no life is left. You were strong enough to withstand it once, but few have your strength in such matters, especially if they are unprepared. I do not know, but she needs you there. If you choose not to follow, she will murder herself at the heart of Malachor and you will die along with her. She seeks the death of all Jedi, all Sith, and the death of the Force. It is madness, it is impossible, but she believes you are the key. There are places in the galaxy dead to the Force where nothing lives, where the echoes travel forever and do not reach their destination. And these places may be created, even from the simplest of events, the slightest of motions. One person, at the right place, at the right time, can change the face of the galaxy, or end it. You're important to her somehow, but I... But I do not know for certain. She is willing to sacrifice herself at the heart of that graveyard world for you. A choice others have made in the past. A choice I wish to make. It is because I care for you. And I suspect that you alone hold that place in her heart where nothing else lives. And that is why you are the only one who can stop the destruction to come. And what will you do with me now? Abandon me here on this dead world? Or end my life as I wish to end yours? It does not matter. Not now. It is what I did with such pain that caused the wound. But I thank you. Leave now, while you can. Save Telos. Save the galaxy. Save yourself. You came for me. I thought I had lost you. Kreia. She said the Council had ended you. And all along she was one of those who had sought to kill us. When I heard her say that you were dead, I... I failed you. I let my emotion run through me and I acted without thinking. I wanted to punish her, hurt her, see her answer for what she had done to the Jedi for leading you to the Council. Of course. Uh, forgive my display. I... I am the last of the Handmaidens no longer. I am Brianna, disciple of the last of the Jedi and the one who will stand with you against all enemies who face us. It is good to hear it, after so long. Well, what do we have here? I didn't believe it when Linu reported the Ebon Hawk at dock, but I guess it really has. Though given the trouble we've been having, maybe I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Gren, Sith forces have breached the module and are attempting to pen us up in the compound. Damn! Zeron, I need you and your men to break through and lead the assault. With pleasure, Lieutenant. All right, follow me.
It came out of nowhere. A fleet of warships dropped out of hyperspace, and before we could scramble fighters to intercept them, we were under attack. There were Sith fighters everywhere, and the few flights we sent out were barely launched when the bombardment began. We did our best, but we couldn't stop the landing craft that followed the initial wave. We couldn't hold back the Sith troops. We chose to retreat and began the evacuation instead. Then there's also the fuel situation. Because we don't have enough fuel, we won't be able to keep the station in orbit and operational and fight off the Sith at the same time. We'll try to make the best of what we have left, but it's going to be cutting it pretty close. The Sith numbers seem limitless, but we haven't lost all hope. We've heard reports that we might be receiving some assistance. A squad of troops sent by Queen Talia are currently trying to keep the Sith from sabotaging the station's fuel system. Does this mean you won't be putting us into force cages again? If you need to get to the Ravager, then you're going to have to fight your way to the shuttle from here to the entertainment module, then make your way to the docking shuttle. Good luck. Just say the word. I must leave you for a time to gather my Mandalorian warriors. We will rejoin you when the time comes for the assault of the Ravager. Don't worry about me. I can handle myself just fine. Look after your own health. All right, men. The Sith are trying to hold us up in this compound. We need to break through or our reinforcements won't be able to move out. Now let's punch a hole in this Sith barricade. Goodness, you're here. You just can't seem to make any progress against the Sith line. After they established their position, they brought out their turrets. They've been devastating our numbers. Uh, we managed to take a few out, but they just keep unloading more of them to replace the destroyed ones. It's up to you to help us throw them back. We gotta get them cleared out of here, and then we're ready for one last charge. All right! Everyone provide covering fire for the Jedi, then advance on the Sith positions. We'll be right behind you. Good luck.